up everybody this is MMA rant and I'm coming to y'all today with another video but before I get started I want to say thank you to all the subscribers thanks to everybody that's been listening to my videos everybody that's been leaving me comments good or bad it doesn't matter because either way I will respond okay and if you're listening right now respond now on with the video this video I'm posting today it's not necessarily a rant on anybody or anything like that but it's about a, a match that I would love to see. Everybody's talking about Frankie Yeager, Jose Aldo, Conor McGregor in the featherweight division. Well, last time I checked, there are other fighters in that division. And these two that I'm talking about right here, to me, are still at the top of the game, okay? In spite of everything else, okay? And that is Chad Money Mendez against you know who, my boy down there. And that name is Max Holloway. Max Holloway is the man of the hour in this video right here. But what I'm looking at is pretty crazy here, okay? And the reason why I have Chad Mendez over top of Max Holloway is because simply this. Chad Mendez is ranked number three in the featherweight division, and Max Holloway is ranked number four, okay? Chad Mendez has a 17 and four record. 17 wins, four losses. I'm gonna break through a little bit of his fighting stats here you know he's a wrestler he has lots of speed and he has lots of power okay and the dude has about a 26 percent striking ratio and a 65 percent takedown ratio okay so you know where his power lies at but the knock on chad mendez and why i'm questionable about him being ranked number three is because he's two and three in his last fights of course you know he lost to frankie Edgar. he lost to conor mcgregor in an epic fight, and I just call it epic because Connor's my man, you know. He beat Ricardo Lama's bitch ass, you know. And I apologize to all the Ricardo Lama's fans because y'all gonna y'all gonna have your little fucking thongs in a bunch in your in your ass when I talk about one of y'all fighters that y'all like. Get a life and get off their dicks. He they, he lost to Jose Aldo, and he beat Nick Lentz, okay, whoever that is. But it's like no jokes. But that is Nick Lentz, okay. He beat them. He beat him. So he's two and three in his last fights, okay? Then, my homeboy, Max Holloway. He's been quiet lately. He's coming off of a thumb injury in that fight. He, uh, that great, that great fight he had with Jeremy Stevens. He, he had a thumb injury there. He's coming off of that injury right now. He's recovering. He's looking good. Max Holloway is ready to make a return in the UFC sometime this summer. You know, that's what he said, and that's what I'm going to roll with. Max Holloway, of course, is ranked number four. Ranked number four in the featherweight division. Underneath for Chad Mendez, okay? Now, Max Holloway has been 5-0 in his last uh, five fights. He beat Jeremy Stevens. He beat Charles Oliveira. He beat Cub Swanson. He beat Cole Miller. He beat Akira Corasani. That was a cool, that's a cool name. Akira, Akira Corasani is a slick name, by the way. Just to let y'all know that. But anyway, he beat five straight fighters, and he beat some top-notch fighters in that five-fight win streak he's been on, you know? But he's 5-0 in that. His his strengths in fighting are his striking, his heart, and his cardio. So we'll get back to those two those things in a minute. He has a 75% striking ratio and a 21% submission ratio, okay? So if you want to compare the fight strengths and their fighting percentages that they're strong in, you know, I would feel like in this fight here, a fight that I would love to see happen next for Max Holloway, I feel like Max Holloway would have the advantage in that fight. And simply because of this, Max Holloway is like 5'11", and Chad Mendes is 5'6". Max Holloway is a striker. Max Holloway has very low percentage ratio, but it's pretty good. Ken Allah, somebody that sounds pretty familiar to everybody in the MMA world, their, um, their comparison of an opponent, their opponents that they fought together is Conor McGregor. That's somebody that they both have fought. Max Holloway sounds like the type of fighter, if you were describing a fighter, it'd be Conor McGregor with the striking. 75% striking um, output as far as in a fight, that sounds like Conor McGregor. The height, now, you know, Max Holloway's a little bit taller than Conor McGregor, but if you look at Chad Mendez when he fought Conor McGregor, which is a common opponent for both of these guys, Conor McGregor is tall, just like Max Holloway. Conor McGregor's striking percentage is very, very high, just like Max Holloway. Uh, Max Holloway's strengths in fighting is his striking, his heart, and his cardio. 
something that Conor McGregor's good at as well. And I feel like with their common opponent and uh, how Max Holloway fought Conor McGregor, even though they both lost to him, Max Holloway stayed in there and fought him the longest and the best. Chad Mendez lasted for a little bit. He had his power, he had his takedown percentage, but he lacked the cardio and the, and the effort and the heart and strength to stay in there and compete with Conor. That's why I feel like, I feel like if Max Holloway and Chad Mendez fought right now, Max Holloway would win. My money's on Max Holloway, you know? That's how I feel about that. But these are two fighters. Um, Chad Mendes has been long lost and forgot about. So has Max Holloway. But Max Holloway's on a tear. He's looking to come back. And this is the fight I would like to see. These two fight. But I want to thank y'all for listening. Thank y'all again for subscribing. And if you're listening right now, subscribe. But hit me up in the comments. Let me know who y'all think would win out of these two fighting. Also, let me know if y'all feel like these two should fight next. If this should be Max Holloway's next fight. Let me know. Hit me up. And guess what? Again, I appreciate everything. I appreciate you guys for listening, taking the time out, listening to my video. And until next time, peace. We'll be alright.